Hi, if you like the video, please remember to subscribe. Hi, I'm Rob from RobNoFoto.com and in this video I'm going to be talking about what I love and hate about the Logitech C920 HD Pro webcam because this really is a piece of uh, technology um, that I had very high hopes for when I got it uh, several months ago and sometimes I really like it and sometimes I really really hate it. Now I bought my uh, Logitech C920 to record videos for YouTube just like I'm doing now um, but I'm actually recording this video not on the C920, obviously, I'm recording on my Canon 600D DSLR because I wanted a camera that was quicker than having to set up the DSLR, put it on the tripod, do the focusing. I wanted something that I could just put onto my laptop, which is here, you can't see it, and, um, and, and start recording because the built-in camera on my laptop was really, really poor and I wanted something that was high def, so, you know, 720p or uh, 1080 um, I wanted something where you could control the white balance because I record these videos. This is in our dining room, okay? And um, I'm using a couple of daylight fluorescent bulbs. But it's a challenging lighting situation because if you've looked at any number of my videos, you know the colours go up and down. My skin can be orange, it can be blue. And I try and get it as, as right as I can. But I wanted a webcam where I could control that. And uh, when you look up reviews of the Logitech C920, you'll just put a Google search in for what's the best webcam. This camera comes up an awful lot. And for me, when I saw it on Amazon, I think I, I think it was for £45, which is about half price. I just I just went to, um, I snapped it up. But it's definitely got some shortcomings. But I do still use it. So let's talk about... Um, the C920. Now, again, my relationship with the C920 is as a camera I use to plug in my laptop to record videos like this, not as a webcam to do things over Skype or do streaming media or anything like that. So let's start off with the things I love about the Logitech C920. Let's get it out of the, uh, get it out of the packet. Oop, there it goes. <laughs> so here's the little beast so I love this lens it's got a proper Carl Zeiss glass lens on the C920 um, that has proper proper focusing as well it actually you know moves the element in and out to, to focus quality fo focus well so you get really nice pictures from it I love the two stereo microphones here um, beautiful stereo sound well sorry not beautiful stereo sound good stereo sound, sound that is an awful lot better than um, you get from uh, recording through your laptop. Um, it's only really when I record with, in fact let me move it into shot so you can see it, my Zoom H1 when I get kind of better sound. But you know this is equivalent as long as you've got it fairly close to you and this is a nice wide angle lens, um, the sound recording is good. The software, the Logitech software for controlling this camera is amazing. You can go basically go fully manual with this particular camera. You can set a manual white balance. You can look at your screen on your laptop and move the slider up and down to get the white balance just as you want it. You can adjust the exposure, the gain. Again, I said, although it's got proper autofocus, you can put it into manual focus mode so you can choose where your focus point is. Um, so that's, that, that's really good so you can get the quality you want. It's got a tripod mount on the bottom. You can put it on a tripod rather than just relying on the sort of that bit. You can mount it on a proper tripod and it's got a really big um, lead. So you can mount it somewhere quite a way away from your, uh, from your laptop or your computer. It's got H.264 compression um, creating MPEG-4 files, which means that this thing, this webcam, along with the software, produces files that are workable with programs like um, Premiere Pro um, or I guess uh, whatever sort of software you're using 
Um, and a lot of it is to do with the fact that, I, now I'm no expert on this, but the problem is with cheaper webcams or when you're recording in lower formats, you get WMA and WMV files that are variable bitrate files, and they can be very tricky to work with. They're fine for recording videos with and then playing them back, but if you want to chop them up and edit them, you need the H.264 compression, and this has it in it apparently as it's recording and sending it down the USB lead. Um, and so that means you get really good files at 1080 and 720p. Um, and it makes a big, big difference, especially if you're using some software like Premiere Pro. Those files are like very, very good and they work very, very well. And you know, this thing produces files that are as easy to work with as with the same um, files that you'll get out of something like the 600D or, or any sort of H.264 um, uh, a webcam. So they're the good points. Now let's look at the bad points. Okay, so we've said how good the uh, Logitech C920 HD webcam is. <laughs> the things that aren't so good. First one, there's no infinity focus and very few reviews talk about this. So this thing can't focus on the horizon. So one of the th reasons why I bought this um, camera with this fan this ca camera with this fantastic little lens is I thought, oh, I'll be able to do like time lapse photos out of the window. Well, you can, but they'll be a little bit blurred because this thing can't focus <laughs> all the way out. Now, you if you go on the internet, there are sort of uh, instructions on how to take the, the cover off and fiddle with it so you will get into Finity Focus. But, you know, I don't do that. They'll invalidate your guarantee. So that kind of disappointed me. And you could say, well, wait a minute, it's a webcam. It's always going to be focused close. Well, yeah, but it's meant to be the best webcam and uh, the Microsoft webcams and lots of others manage to focus into infinity so why couldn't they have included focus infinity on this thing now the big big problem with the Logitech C920 is lip sync problems um, basically if you want to record videos for YouTube using this camera forget about doing it at 1080p um, <laughs> Um, because you're going to lose lip sync and you lose lip sync at um, I, I always forget what it was it 720 and the other ones so it's 1080 forget about it 1080 you've got to do it at 720p um, and you've also do, got to do a lot of other things to make sure because this camera is terrible um, with the software for losing sync you'll just be recording a video and you think everything's great and it might be a short video or it could be a really long one and then you'll play it back on your laptop and all of a sudden the sync will start to go out with your lips or it'll lose a few frames that tends to what uh, tends to be what happens and then the lip sync's gone and you can either bin the video and start again or you can do lots of tricky cutting and sliding of the video and the audio to try and make it match up again and I, I've had to do that a few times and it is a real real pain and very very disappointing um, now it may be my laptop, but it's lots of people's laptops sort of, or computers. Lots of people complain about this. It might not be the Logitech C920. It's probably HD webcams, or you've got all this data trying to flow down this USB 2 cable into into your laptop, and where really you need a USB 3 enabled laptop or computer to do it. Um, but there is there is a bit of a way around it, and what you've got to do is. Basically, you've got to turn the camera into manual mode, so it's not having to think about anything. <laughs> and so always try and record your videos in a, in a fixed light situation, a bit like I am here, where the light doesn't change. So I can, I can go to manual exposure, manual white balance, um, turn the manual gain. I can even you know turn the autofocus off because I'm not going to be moving um, that much. Um, and then it will probably stream okay at like 720p. But if you're recording videos as well, the other thing that I'd recommend you do is close all the programs down on your laptop or computer that you're not using. And even put your laptop, for example, into airplane mode and maybe unplug the internet if you're using a desktop so that it's not even trying to talk to the internet or do, do stuff like that. And then you've got a fighting chance of doing quite long videos, probably maybe even 15, 20 minutes, where the lip sync, lip sync stays okay. But, you know, even then, if you all of a sudden, you know, while you're recording the video, your computer decides to do something in the background, you could well lose sync. Um, now, again, I, I don't think it's completely the, the camera's fault. It's probably a combination with my laptop as well. But, you know, my laptop is, is an i5. It does have four gigabytes of RAM. So, you know, it's not a slouch, but it is only USB 2 and not USB 3. So maybe you'll have more luck for 
with a more powerful machine, but it's definitely something to think about if you're going to be recording videos for the likes of YouTube using this and, and rather not streaming. Because when you're streaming over Skype, it doesn't really matter, does it, if your lip sync goes out of it? Who cares? You kind of expect that. Um, but I definitely didn't expect it when I recorded the, when I bought this to, to record my YouTube video. So, in conclusion, there's some things I really like about this camera, sort of the quality the lens, the, the microphones, the, the, the tripod mounts, and, and the quality of the file you get, but the lip sync is really, really does my head in. So, you know, it really is a love-hate relationship. Um, and I guess, would I recommend this for someone to buy? I would say proceed with caution if you're going to buy, if you want to buy it to record YouTube's video, because you could well get lip sync problems. Um, what I tend to use this for quite a lot now is if I'm recording a video with my this DSLR you see in front of me, I'll set this up on a little tripod and I'll use it as a close-up camera, say, for what I'm demonstrating. Or if I'm recording a video where I'm behind the camera and th th there doesn't need to be any lip sync issues. It doesn't matter if it's even a second out because I'm just demonstrating stuff. And, you know, and it's fine for that. So I guess if you've got a powerful laptop with a USB 3 and you've already got some other way of recording video, if the uh, C920 doesn't work for you, then I would say dabble with the C920 because it does give you amazing files. It does look really, really good. But if you haven't, be very aware that if you're buying this to make YouTube videos, you're probably going to run into some sort of lip sync problem with the longer videos, and you're going to have to do all the things I say, you know, shut everything down, go to manual mode, go into um, airport mode on your on your laptop, and then you you might get videos where you don't have lip sync problems. So there we go. The Logitech C920. Undoubtedly a great camera, but it does have some serious shortcomings. My name's Rob from RunOnPhoto.com. Please like the videos. If you really like them, please subscribe. Put some comments down below, and hopefully I'll see you again soon.